on that note. <laughs> We're going to join Chef Charles Bryant from Hartwell's Premium. He's already hard at work making his vegetarian chili. I just threw out a bunch of facts like I, like I knew what I was talking about, but uh, it probably isn't that low in carbohydrate. I said it was. There's some carbs, but you okay, do have yeah. your protein. Yeah. It's not overly carb. We're not putting any sort of pasta or rice or anything like that. Okay. So what we've got here, I started in the pan a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to start with the sweet potatoes because they take the longest to cook. Mm -hmm. So we always start with what takes the longest. I'm going to add the tomatoes as well. That way they can start to bring out some of their liquids. Mm. And then once we get this in there, I'll show you the little trick with the spices. So anytime you use ground spices, you want to put that in with the oil because your ground spices are fat soluble. Mm -hmm. And so this is the way to get that flavor permeated throughout the entire dish. Here's just a little bit of chili powder, maybe a tablespoon or so. Got some cumin as well, which is one of my favorite spices there. So you can see it already starts to to smell and you know as you're doing that now with vegetarian chili one of the things I've always enjoyed with with chili or even beef stew and things is um, how when you have it the second time when you reheat it um, it's like the flavors get acquainted in the refrigerator overnight they do they start to know each other and become friendly and it, yeah. you know they, they, they do impart a better flavor Doing your spices like this is a way to get that first day or second day flavor on the first day, uh -huh. right? Yeah. So this is kind of a little cheat code. And how long does vegetarian chili take? Start this is going to take, you know, I think that the cutting time was the most. I might have had 10 minutes in my knife time. Uh -huh. You can cook this for about a half an hour and you're ready to go. Oh, so yeah, that's it really doesn't idea. take long. So once your vegetables cook and you just want to get it down to where you're going to reduce your tomato juice a little bit to, to get that uh, tight flavor that you're looking for. Man. 30 minutes, that's like that's like instant pot time. It really is, yeah. and it's all one pot. So we're going to go ahead and add the rest of our vegetables. I've got zucchini, I've got orange pepper, uh, yellow squash, poblano pepper as well. So we're going to go right in the pan with all of that. Very nice. Is there such thing as too many vegetables in vegetable chili? Well, it's probably subjective. I don't know. <laughs> you know everyone, is, everyone is different. So you can see we've got that going here. Look how beautiful that looks already. That does. So colorful. And so we're going to add my chopped onion here, just like that. And then I'm going to add a little bit of corn. So what I like to do is use the tip of the knife. You know, your knife has different areas, and they're used for different purposes. Uh -huh. So I use the tip of the knife. Just go right down the cob there. Mm -hmm. Take your time. See how easy that is? Easy for you. I always end up with a bunch of the cob. <laughs> yeah. yeah so. It, it takes some time, but if you use the tip of your knife, you have a lot more control okay. over it. You're not right. hacking into the corn itself. So we've got some corn going in there. Oh, so there's a little yeah. bit of carb from the corn. And then with the jalapeno, I like to split it in half. And then again, use the tip of the knife to clean out the seeds as such. Get those out of there. And then just do a julienne. And then turn it, and you're going to do a chop. And you can see how easy it is. And once you get in the the kind of the routine of all this, it, it's it's so easy, and you won't even be, uh, you know, apprehensive about using your knife. Very good. Yeah, so you can see how that comes together. As a matter of fact, last week I made this for my grandmother. I do some meal prep for her, so mm -hmm. I put it in the freezer. She's 96 years old, still does her thing, and still feisty as ever. So <laughs> I like to put these in little containers and uh, freeze them, and then she picks it out, you know, and eats it whenever she has. Uh -huh has a hankering for it, so to speak. Now, how spicy is this dish? This isn't say? too spicy because I only put just a touch of jalapeno. Again, mm -hmm. the poblanos are more smoky okay. as opposed to spicy. So, And you can make it as hot as you like, though. I kind of like to uh, maybe add, make it like this and then add some hot sauces on the side, then everybody can make it however they like. Right? And, and, the, uh, and the, the beans go in later? or Yeah, once we put in the liquids, um, we'll put the beans in. So I like to saute the veg for two or three minutes you know, just to get them to break down a little bit. And then one thing I like to do also is I like to keep a little water on hand when I'm sauteing because if it starts to get away from you or you think it's getting too hot, you can always add just a splash of water mm -hmm. uh -huh. like that. It removes all the goodness off the bottom of the pan and then kind of stops that overcooking process. Right. And it doesn't do anything to affect the flavor. I said this earlier when we were on daybreak, but it's just, it's visually so appealing. You know, your body is craving certain yeah. things uh -huh. because I had so many sweets. <laughs> this looks particularly good to me because my body's telling me, you need that. 
Now this is uh, just 32 ounces of, I used a vegetable juice, low sodium. Okay. I like to try to get low sodium or no salt. I'm gonna add the beans now. These are black beans, no salt added black beans. Uh-huh. Okay, because you, then you can always uh, control your sodium that way. And, and, that's, kidney beans. and that's where the protein comes from, is the beans. Correct, so, yeah. yeah, you're gonna get the protein from the beans. And you can see that uh, we're going to... Oh, wow, that, that is gorgeous. We're going to let this all come um, together. And, and quickly, Chef, what are we going to do in the next segment? The next segment, we have a honey jalapeno cornbread. Okay. okay. It's going to go perfect with this. Fantastic. Uh, Randy, it's over to you, buddy. Yeah, hey.